Good night, Ned. Sweet dreams, honey. I'm awake. Yeah, hand me that bolt. Oh, come on. There you go. We're getting somewhere now. And it fits perfectly. A uh, dad? Maybe you should look at the instructions. Instructions? Instructions? Ned, 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 oh ye of little faith. Don't you understand? Instructions are for losers. Why, did Thomas Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, or the Wright brothers have instructions? Oh, I think not. And do you know what I have in common with all those inventors? You're bald? No, Ned. A work ethic. With hard work, we'll create a robot far greater than Samurai 7. But I think Samurai 7 is really cool. Oh, Ned. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, now back to this thing. Ah, I got it. It just needs a readjustment. Dad, the instructions say you can't do that. Isn't it your uh, bedtime? I'm not tired. Tired or not, your father's right. Time for bed, young man. But, Mom, we're building Samurai 7. There'll be plenty of time for that in the morning. Now come to bed. Dang. <coughs> Attention, family. I almost lost a finger, and it took me all night. But now it's my privilege to introduce Sammy Seven. Oh, boy! Huh? Greetings, good people. So, what do you think? He's something else, honey. Oh, yeah. He's completely something else. I'm kind of proud of him. Sort of think of Sammy as my little metal boy. Daddy. <laughs> that would make him my brother. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's rich. I worked very hard assembling Sammy. Maybe later you can work hard disassembling my <laughs> brother. I don't care what Ned says. We think he's wonderful, dear. Family, I think I saw a flying cat outside. Continue looking. I am sure you will see it. I always miss everything. I am sorry. It must have been a squirrel. Look what it is that Brother Ned has done. Ned, what have we told you about wearing your breakfast? But, Dad, I didn't do it. It was that stupid robot. Oh, Daddy, Ned's voice is so harsh. It frightens me so. We will not have you talk about your brother that way. He's not my brother! How can I enjoy my day off with all this aggravation? Here, Dad. <laughs> Two tickets for today's baseball game. Show off. But there are only two tickets. What about Ned? Ah, uh, ham. Would you look at that? 
He's a certified babysitter, too. Oh, boy. Remember, Sammy, if there's any trouble, call... Nine, one, one. Very good, Sammy. Mom, I don't need a babysitter. Ned, now you listen to your brother. He's in charge. He's not my brother! Bye-bye. Have a good time. Bye. So, Ned, are you ready to be destroyed? Ah, uh, you humans, so trusting, so stupid. It is a joke that you order us around. It should be robots who rule. Now it is you who shall be disassembled. Hey, uh, look, it's a flying cat. Ooh, where, Ned? Where? Ned? 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 Engage rocket boosters. Nedariya, you have ten seconds to come out and be destroyed like a man. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. How did you know where to find my rocket booster cutoff? I read the instructions. <laughs> See you soon, Sammy Stupid! Ah! <laughs> Wait a minute. I destroyed the robot. It's a Samuel's day. Woohoo! Now I must pick out an outfit so I can go downstairs to have a Samuel's breakfast. I'll never have to hear that piece of junk's voice again. Destroy! 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 Not look upon me. Does this mean you don't want to destroy me? Of course not, Ned. You see, when I was activated and met your family, I wanted to be loved, just like you. Then you wanted to disassemble me, and I got angry and jealous. I wanted you out of my picture. But now I know I was wrong. I do not deserve a family. I do not deserve to live. Where are you going? To the junkyard, to be crushed out of existence, like the rest of the garbage. What have I done? Hold on, Sammy. Maybe it's my fault, too. I haven't been that nice to you, either. The fact that I mashed you to pieces kind of makes us even Stevens, don't you think? Sure, even Stevens. Put her there, pal. Okay, put her there. Ha ha ha! What did she do that for? Ow! What's this? <laughs> when Mom and Dad see what you have done to me, you will get scrapped. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ooh, I am shaking with fear. <laughs> um, Dad, Sammy turned me into a robot. Do not talk about your brother that way. Ah! Yes, Nadariah, it is very rude of you. Now sit down and eat your breakfast. Gaga, really, really, really. Come, Ned. Join my family. Our family. No! 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 Huh? <laughs> Just a dream. <gasps> uh, Dad, could I borrow your hammer for a second, please? Sure, Ned. Starting your own little project, huh? Mechanical genius like your old man. Dad. Uh, don't mention it. I wonder what he has against the toaster. How many times have I told you not to leave your toys lying around? Sorry, Dad. I forgot. Ned, you have to learn not to forget things. Now, dear, it's just a phase he's going through. Yeah, a phase. Phase or no phase, you'd forget your head if it wasn't screwed on. Now go up to your room and think about what you can do to remember not to forget. 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 Remember not to forget what? Are you sure you haven't forgotten anything, Ned? Yep. Do you have your galoshes? Yep. Homework? Yep. Lunch? Yep. Glasses? Dad! and be seated. Oh, I'm fine right here, thanks. Please be seated, Ned. Oh, no, really. I'm just fine, cozy as a bug. Sit down! Yes, ma'am. Now, who would like to complete the equation at the blackboard? Hey, me, me, Ned? Yes, ma'am. Oh, young man! Didn't you forget something this morning? What? What? The decimal point, child! Well done, Ned. You may take your place. Uh, thank you, ma'am. A ten hop! Right face! Move out! Arrgh! Ned! Double time! Hop, 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 hop!
Ben. It's Conrad and Bernie. I can't go to them for help. They're sociopaths. Still, it's worth a try. Maybe they're just misunderstood. Hey, fellas. We didn't do it! We didn't do it! Oh, it's you. Take off, Ned. Please, fellas. I'm naked. Yeah, so? I'm completely desperate! I need your help! Sure, sure, we'll help you. Step into our office. This is great! Nobody will see me in here. Gasp! What was that? Dude, someone's coming! We gotta hide you, dude! Over here! Die! No, quick! In here! Ow! Quick! Hide under this, man! In here, dude! <laughs> oh, relax, buddy. We're just having a little fun. Oh, man, we'll help you. I'm gonna loan you my very own gym shorts, okay? And Ned, they're, um, fur. Fur? This better not be another stupid joke. Scout's honor. Gee, thanks, fellas. These fit great. I've been looking all over for you. Me, sir? Yes, you. Hop in, we're late. And as for you two, you've got detention all this week. <laughs> this is all your fault. Sir, where are we going? Don't you know, Ned? It's your big day today. You're going to receive a prestigious award. Sir, there's something I think you should know first. Sir? Not now, Ned. I have to announce you. Quiet, quiet, quiet please. And, and now, without further ado, for being the best dressed student four years in a row, I give you Ned. It's the Dapper Dan Award. Oh, if only I were worthy. This kid's naked. <gasps> He's turned the Dapper Dan into a hollow mockery! Destroy him! Oh, oh, the Dapper Dan! Sir? Sir? Uh, bye. <laughs> a few articles. 
the clothing. Is that so wrong? Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Have you forgotten anything this morning, Ned? Nope. I remember not to forget. <laughs> That's my boy. Thank <laughs> you.